guys, good morning, welcome to another studio vlog. So, we are in the time crunch for Christmas products as you've seen on my last couple of vlogs. Last week we managed to get some sticker sheets and some die cut stickers sent off and now we need to work on the next Christmas collection. Next few vlogs are going to be a crunch to get things done and I want to really work on gift tags, greeting cards, but today the focus in this vlog is going to be some brand new sticker packs and I need to bulk make a bunch and I've got a few different sticker packs in mind. I've been using this little notebook if you live watch my last vlogs you will have seen me use this kind of really write down the collection ideas that I want and the exact products I want because I feel like normally when I'm working on collections I'm kind of just chaotic and I kind of just like go with the flow and end up creating like this rambling bunch of stuff that I stick together but this time I've actually made a cohesive note of every single product I'm gonna do and I've noticed that I get ideas popping into my head but I'm like no 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 I'll write that down for next year because we really need to focus in and polish up these collections so I want to try and clean them up polish them up and just do what I say I'm gonna do rather than having a bunch of different things all over the place so we sent off for the Christmas pins we sent off for the die cuts and now it's time to focus on those sticker packs so I need to bulk make those sticker packs now these will not be going live until the beginning of november so yeah we're going to be designing sticker packs but first of all what i need to do is i actually need to edit a studio vlog so i'm going to get to work on that i'm going to have my breakfast i've got some toast my coffee and i'm going to get to work on editing a studio vlog Okay, that YouTube video pretty much took me all day. It's so bizarre because sometimes I can edit a vlog and it will only take me a couple of hours. And then today, that has literally took me all day to do. We have just got um, a bunch of restocked jumpers in with shroomy on them. So I am gonna fold these up and put them on the shelves. Dean is currently just counting away and marking out all the sizes and the orders ready for the SKUs and I'm gonna fold them with this little foldy thing. I did mention in a studio vlog that this was rubbish for tote bags but um, it's actually quite good for jumpers and t-shirts so. Oh, and another thing, you know I mentioned last week on the studio vlog that we received our thank you cards from printed.com and the package was empty. Well they've resent us another batch out and guess what it's empty again i don't know what is going on with printed.com lately they have been who i've used for a while for like my thank you cards and leaflets and stuff and lately just loads of orders keep going wrong like how is this mistake made twice obviously this packaging isn't sturdy enough because normally it's like stuffed in here isn't sturdy enough for like card and stuff without falling out how annoying is that Thank you. 
I've just finished packing all the jumpers away and Dean said that the beanies have also come in so this is back in stock by much highly wait what's the word highly request what's the word when you say highly requested is that the right word I don't know Dean is just going through all of these and is seeing which ones are seconds and which ones are first but these are trawler beanies and I'm just really really happy with the embroidery on these ones I'm not sure what it is but they look even better I didn't even think that was possible because I liked how they were before but the embroidery looks really really good in it but what Dean's doing is he's just checking all the backs of them and making sure everything's okay and yeah they're the new beanies so we're probably going to list them tomorrow we need to tag them all uh, with our branding on as well i'm having a bit of a nightmare as well because that vlog that i've spent all day working on and um, suddenly our internet has gone down in this whole building so we have no access to the internet and i need to send that off to the sponsorship because it was actually a sponsored video and i said that i was going to get that over to them today literally sods law isn't it the internet's been working all day while i've been editing and now when i need to upload and edit it it's no longer working but it's currently saying it's going to take two hours and 46 minutes and it's currently 10 past six and we've been here since like 9 a.m so i'm gonna go home and hopefully have a better day tomorrow good morning guys so hopefully today is going to be a much more productive day than yesterday and we are going to get the crickets out today and get to work on the new christmas sticker packs but first of all what i need to do is i need to re-tag all those beanies and put them on the shelf yesterday i sorted the jumpers out i also have filmed like a little reel and tiktok that i need to edit just to show that it is in stock now we have been reading the reviews about these beanies and they have been super super popular more popular than our pink and green ones but they have been getting feedback and reviews about them being too small now I think I didn't make it too clear in the description that the style of this beanie is kind of like a fisherman style trawler um, hipster style beanie so it doesn't actually fit your head the same way a big beanie would normally like cover your ears and stuff it's more stylish and like hipstery like it sits on the crown of your head so I've added it to the description to let people know and me and Dean love to take feedback on board and try and make our products the best we can but we have been getting restock requests for these beanies so just know if you've got your eye on these beanies they are like a hipster style hat and uh, not like a full big chunky beanie like like our other ones but we have been talking and discussing the fact that maybe we'll make bumble butt into a traditional beanie in the future but for now we're going to restock those for you and put them on our shelves and list them and then we're going to get our ipad out because i feel like i want to redesign an old gingy sticker pack and just kind of revamp it a little bit i'm going to use the same illustrations but just kind of do them a little cleaner like how I illustrate now so it fits more and then we're gonna chop up all of the new sticker packs so first of all let's get to tagging the beanies <laughs>
has just pressed um, some fresh baby blue orders. So these are the Halloween Mr. and Mrs. or customizable, it doesn't have to be Mr. and Mrs. mugs. And I haven't really uploaded much on the baby blue Instagram. So I'm just taking some photos of these and I'm gonna do a little reel in TikTok. But look how cute they look. I've just lit a little pumpkin candle. Um, and then Dean's gonna package this order up. I'm going to get my sketchbook out and start all the sticker packs. So let's get the sketchbook out redesign um, some of the older illustrations and make them into a new sticker pack, shall we? Okay, this is the Gingy and Spice sticker pack that I used to do. And I don't know if you can really tell on these, but the style is a little older and I want to make the line art a bit chunkier so I'm actually going to redraw all these but I'm going to keep these the same because they used to be a good seller and um, like Gingy and her say uh, things so I'm basically gonna in a little sweater I'm basically gonna draw like trace around them and just revamp them and have that as a collection and I may change this blue color to more of a red for Christmas but it also means it doesn't have to be just Christmassy but it's more just like cozy winter vibes but I do think I might change the scarves and stuff gingy scarf is normally like a dusky pink anyway uh, but I thought it'd be nice to add this like pastel blue but this year to fit in with the rest of the collections I might make it red so I'm gonna get to work on that finished doing the sticker packs let me show you what says sticker packs the sticker sheet redesign of gingy and spice and then i'm going to do a second sticker pack which is going to be the uh what sticker pack am i doing again Oh, the Peppermint the Cat sticker pack. That's going to be the second one. I don't know if I've got enough for putting the dog in his sweater. Maybe I could illustrate him in different positions with his jumper on and make that sticker pack because I would like to have, just like I'm doing collectible pins, I would like collectible sticker packs as well. But let me show you the revamp. So this is the after. After I've cleaned it up, I've done chunkier lines. This was the before. Uh, some people might prefer the prefer. I have had people say that they prefer the classic um, Gingy and Spice how I used to illustrate but I just think this looks more cohesive with my newest style. It looks more modern, it looks crisper and it translates better to products. So this is a new style for the sticker packs. I'm going to put this into Cricut and yeah create some new sticker packs and I think I might actually do the pudding one as well. I actually think I am going to illustrate pudding in di like different positions with his like winter sweater on to make that into a sticker pack as well it's a shame though because I've already sent off for the planner stickers and I could have made them into planner stickers but maybe it'll be good to have them as an exclusive sticker pack as well 
but I would like to launch three fresh new sticker packs uh, the Gingy and Spice one, Peppermint the Cat and Pudding in his little winter outfit me and Dean are actually going to go for a nice hot chocolate because it's raining outside so I might actually take my smaller iPad with me and do the illustrations in the coffee shop also before we get any further and we go on that little drawing date together, I did want to say a huge, huge thank you to our sponsors today, Skillshare, for continuing to be amazing partners to this channel and sponsoring today's video. For those of you who don't know what Skillshare is, it is an amazing online learning community filled to the brim with online classes for you to choose from. I am going to be working on some new wrapping paper in the next few vlog and I actually do want to take a Skillshare class about pattern making because I feel like my skills are a little bit rusty. Skillshare is like one of my first resources to go to if I ever need to brush up on skills or learn new skills. Skillshare has so many classes from illustration, photography, business and even lifestyle and well-being classes. It really is a valuable resource for anyone wanting to learn, cultivate or explore new skills by some of the best and most creative makers in the industry. Speaking about making patterns, I actually searched for seamless repeat patterns and found this amazing class, Pattern Play and Procreate, Turn Motives into Fun Seamless Repeat Patterns by Vanitha Mammon. And this looks super interesting to me because I primarily illustrate on Procreate. So a huge thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you would like to check them out, they are giving the first thousand people to click in my link in the description a free trial of Skillshare so you guys can actually try that out yourself. First of all, let's go on a cozy little drawing date together and do this pudding the dog sketch for the sticker pack. designing and illustrating the new pudding uh, sticker pack which turned out so stinking cute these are the four new designs the original pack had like these woolly sweaters in and I thought it'd be cute to incorporate these elements to the new stickers so I did pudding trying on the socks pudding not liking the socks and playing with it Daisy my dog actually does this all the time to her toys like shakes her head and runs around in circles so this was kind of a little illustration based off that and then pudding trying the mittens on I love this illustration there's something so cute about it and then the final one is pudding enjoying a nice hot chocolate so they are going to be the elements in the new sticker pack I don't think I'm going to add these ones here, I'm gonna add maybe the sweater, I'm not sure, maybe the cup, but this is definitely gonna be in the sticker pack. It's gonna look so cute. Anyway, I'm actually gonna end this vlog here and in the next one, we will be sitting down and getting to work on the sticker packs. We'll be putting all the crickets on and printing and cutting all the new sticker packs that we illustrated in this week's vlog. If you liked it, please don't forget to like and leave a comment below. What was your favorite pudding illustration? Mine is with his little mittens on. It looks so stinking cute. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very freaking soon. Alright then, thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.